All right, so now we're going to access to edit text too, but this one for the sum. Sum edit txt equals to edit text and find view by id or dot id dot sum. All right, so now access to the sum. So we can display the output to the sum and get the output from nums at text. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make change when the user pretty much just type. So we're going to make add the text change listener, right? To that nums edit text. So this one has to be new text watcher, which is going to add all the methods that you need to implement for you. So we got to do after text change, when there's a change, right, on the text. After that, we want it to read in all the numbers from the nums edit text, which we can get text. Now get text is going to it's return the edit text type, so we have to change it to to string, and then to string we can split by the spaces, which is going to return an array, right? String array of the numbers back. Now we are pretty much going to go back to look at mathematics now, right? Our mathematics we have to create overloaded. Because the type that we have now is double type. So pay attention here. So you see that this is another one that we can do with the overloaded methods, right? Instead of, okay, return double, but instead of getting in as double, we can get in as an array of string nums. And then with array, we technically cannot calculate right with the loop directly like that All right so first we need to change that to int or double first which we can do parse double dot parse double and pass each element right pretty much what you want to do here I'm going to declare double array right as uh, double num an array so we're going to declare that to use here as an array and we to use for loop for int i equal to zero right i And technically, instead of using loop like this, you can do for each. This is a shortened way of for. Okay. When you're dealing with array, you can do for each. Like, this is going to be each string. X form nums. And then you don't really need to do I anymore. You just parse each X. Right. And change that to... Pretty much we want to put into double nums. Mm. In that case, we actually need to refer to each index of double nums too. Then for each will not work. So we have to put the i equal to zero i less than nums dot length, right? And i plus plus. And just change this back to nums i. What we try to do, we pretty much just try to change string to double here. Double nums then can put into h i index. Like form string now is turned to be double.
and then just closing the loop here. All right, so double nums has not been initialized, so we have to create a size for num. So let's create new double, and the size is going to be nums dot length for double num. Initialize it. So that's how you create an array, right? This line. I just want to pretty much just copy from string nums to double nums. So now we should be able to return, right? Which I'm going to call some methods that do calculate and pass in double num. I'm going to call this one, the overloaded one here, and pass in double nums. So it's going to return the sum for you. Then, here, let's put the Java doc for each of this. Then the user pretty much know how to use this. So this is an array, right, of string. As an array of string numbers. Uh, an array of numbers with string data type, right? So you can put string array as return the sum, right, of the numbers with string data type. Right, so the difference from here and here is this one is with the double data type. So this pretty much just calculate the sum, right? Of array of numbers with double data type. But the other one we calculate the sum right of array of numbers with string data type. This is called overloaded. You may see that. Right? Overloaded. Even the same size of parameter, but it's different type. Right? That's proof of overloaded. And I'm going to show you now in our statistic activity, we should be able to set the text for the sum edit text dot set text to. Now, we get the mathematics, right? And pass in and call sum, which is string type right there. And pass in the nums. Which, after that, this will return the result. And the result pretty much in it, it is in the double type. So it has to be chained to string by using string dot value of and passing double. Then it can set to the set text. Alright, so let's test this program. So what we gotta do, oh, that's one thing that I have to do before that. For main activity, I have to get the buttons, right? I forget to get the buttons and change that. So because I add another buttons, Right, so I'm going to do pretty much say button, and this is statistic buttons. So you may see if we name it the ID of each object on the view, right, as a standard correctly, then we don't have to switch in back and forth to look at the ID names. Like now, I pretty much just name it as statistics, right? Stats button right there, right? And then from this one, you can just do the on, right? Set on click listener. When the user click, then we can just create the on, right? So this, this actually, if you import, then you don't have to do view dot, okay? If you just import on click listener. 
like view dot pretty much a uh, package, right? So if you do Android, let's say, I'll enter import class Android view right there, right? So it's just right there, right? And then we get a view on click listener. Like if I put the interface that way, let's see if I do. Yeah, because this is an interface, so we actually want to do this view dot. Yeah, it's not a class, so that's the best way to do view dot on click listener is an interface. So now we're gonna do the same thing on click, pretty much the same code right here that you going to change the intent to start instead of geometric activity we're going to get the statistic activity instead right to refer to statistics activity dot class all right so that should do so what we're going to do we're going to load the code now to our emulator here and we're going to test so we have statistic calculator we click on that so enter a set of numbers separate by space five so if it's five the sum is five right uh since this is a it's not text view so it's not taking the space so let me change that right because i happen to use the the number type right the number decimal so i'm going to change it to text take this one now all right so let's save this and rewrote right all right so go to statistic calculator so five six so I said, you see that's going to find the sum now right so if i do yeah now we have to take care of in case of like now where I delete everything it's just return an empty right because it's a text type so we have to do invalid input right where it's like text type and that's pretty much how we do it okay so here right now if i do one okay sum is one two sum is three three sum is six right so you can keep just doing this so it's going to give you a sum like i said you may want to take care of in the case that i erase everything that's going to be an error at that point doom because where it has the last number, let's try two. Error should be like you cannot do something with the space. You have to yeah handle an errors for input validation right around here, right? So you learn try cache in two or one, right? Right. So or it's like if else right if that is a problem you can just throw exception right and we can just uh, put the exception to the text set text right and just say like invalid input something like that so let's reload the code and that should work invalid input instead of showing errors so that's the point of using tie cache. like if if we can do this that's fine else you just set the text differently it's just like if else tie catch you learn more in csc 201